In this video, we'll state a major identity of trigonometry called the Pythagorean identity. Remember that an identity is an equation that's always true. The Pythagorean identity says, Well, it says that the sine of a number squared plus the cosine of a number squared equals one. But it doesn't get written like that. Powers of the sine and the cosine are traditionally written a little differently, with the power going in between the name of the trig function and the value x. So the sine squared of x plus the cosine squared of x equals 1. This notation is just to cut down on, on the parentheses. Here, you need the parentheses, because if you didn't have the parentheses, it would be hard to know whether you meant for the entire sign to be squared, or whether you meant for the x to be squared. This is unambiguous, where squaring the sign, we don't need the parentheses. Pythagorean is a word you've heard before. The Pythagorean identity comes right from the Pythagorean theorem. If we create a right, if we have this angle X and we create a right triangle like so, this point here is the cosine of X comma the sine of x. And that tells us, moving down here and giving us a little space to work, the x-coordinate being the cosine says that this side of the right triangle is the cosine. The y-coordinate being the sine tells us this side of the right triangle is the sine. The hypotenuse is 1 because this hypotenuse is a radius of the unit circle. And the unit circle has radius 1. And the Pythagorean identity is then right from the Pythagorean theorem, we take the legs, we square them, we add those squares together, we get the hypotenuse squared. Well, one squared is one, so the Pythagorean theorem gives us the Pythagorean identity.